And also, before uh, uh, mentioning uh, special interests, and I know the Honourable Member for uh, Rosevie is will be uh, uh, speaking about the AFL Inclusion Carnival and the work that uh, New Horizons uh, does, but I'd like to welcome uh, Belinda Kitto, who's the manager of uh, New Horizons, and uh, the work she does uh, for that course is exemplary. Uh, Stuart Schultz, uh, who is the uh, Southern Coordinator. Uh, Stuart, prior to being the Southern Coordinator for New Horizons, was, was with uh, Cricket Taz. And uh, also uh, Dylan Pace. We're, it's our pleasure to have uh, Dylan in here today. He's a Southern AFL inclusion footballer and he was selected in the All-Australian uh, team for the second time uh, only uh, approximately two to three weeks ago in the carnival they had in Launceston. But he doesn't only uh, hone his skills at Australian uh, football, uh, he also owns his skill at basketball and he was a member of the bronze medal Australian team in Italy. I think that was last year. So uh, he's a uh, very talented sportsman and it's terrific to have Dylan here as well. But special interest, the Honourable Member for Rosevears. Thanks very much, Mr President. And of course, good old Tasmania. Belinda has a very close relative here in the uh, Member for <laughs> McIntyre. So... Uh, Cousins. <laughs> They're everywhere. Um, when you say AFL, Mr President, uh, uh, and we see the top end of Australian rules football, um, big games leading to a grand final, of course, almost stops a nation. So it's really in our DNA, AFL. But there's much more to what uh, AFL stands for than that. The AFL works in various ways to make Australian rules football available and accessible to everyone in all communities. A key part of this endeavour, Mr President, is, as you've mentioned, the AFL Inclusion Carnival, National Carnival, which was held for the first time in Tasmania last month. Bringing the carnival to Tasmania was the result of a bid by AFL Tasmania and partners, the New Horizons Club, uh, Tourism Northern Tasmania and uh, the City of Launceston. I remember being on the Gold Coast last year to watch the Inclusion Carnival and the beautiful warm weather up there, dare I say, and I thought, while they spoke very highly of Tasmania, I thought, well, there's no way known we're going to get this carnival in Tasmania uh, at this time of the year. However, Belinda, with those partners, presented a submission that was second to none. It was just streets ahead of the other submissions and she was able to draw the carnival to Tasmania. Of course, Launceston turned on that beautiful winter weather that we're well known for and uh, the carnival was played in uh, glorious sunshine. <laughs> just, uh, just, go, no, just give me an opportunity with a bit of, to be able to stretch it a little bit. Uh, but you, you might remember, Mr President, at the launch, at the launch of the carnival, there was one particular footballer from the Northern Territory when asked what he was looking forward to, he said, going home. <laughs> um, <coughs> however, I digress. New Horizons has been providing vital sport and recreation activities to people with a disability for 32 years in northern Tasmania and has recently appointed, as you've heard, a southern coordinator to work here in the southern part of Tassie, and that's uh, Stuart Schultz, who is with us today. For one week in June, Mr President, Launceston played host to the National Inclusion Carnival with Australia's top footballers with intellectual disability from every state and territory coming to Tasmania for not only the incredible competition but also a demonstration of the power of sport to drive inclusion in our communities. And New Horizons, led by Belinda, worked with its partners that I mentioned earlier to hold what the AFL has described as the best carnival yet. The inclusion grand finals were played as curtain raiser games for the Hawthorne versus Gold Coast AFL game in Launceston at the Utah Stadium on June the 23rd. What a great moment for those players. Unfortunately, Tasmania was not amongst those players on the day, but they did get to do a lap of honour at, uh, at half time and did a, a barrier run through for the Hawthorne players, which was great. In addition to the games, athletes took part in player education sessions, sightseeing and social dinners with uh, local northern Tasmanian footy teams. Belinda says each and every player who competed in last month's carnival faces challenges in their day-to-day -day lives that most of us can't imagine. She says people with disability can suffer deeply 
from social isolation and are proven to be more at risk to many critical health issues than the rest of the population. Sport, physical activity, recreation and social pursuits are vital to the well-being of people with disability. But opportunities that uh, making, uh, taking part in these, as uh, simple as they are for everyone else, just aren't widely available. However, we've been pretty lucky in Northern Tasmania for 32 years. Belinda's skills as a sports administrator, combined with her management abilities, directing New Horizons Tasmania, has filled a yawning gap for Tasmanians with disabilities. With help, she's brought the AFL Inclusion Carnival to Tasmania. The event brought hundreds of visitors to the North in midwinter and demonstrated the economic power of people with disability and their families. And there's no stopping the momentum that Belinda has pushed forward, Mr. President. The excluded are now the included.